How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna attempt to teach you guys how to drift if you need the assistance or if you just wanna watch it. Anyways, I am by no means a professional drifter or like anything. I'm just, you know, I, I can sort of drift. So I wanna pass on some of my knowledge to you guys. Some of you guys do say in the comments down below that you are getting a steering wheel, which is awesome. Uh, so I just figured, Maybe, maybe you guys want some tips, maybe you don't. Maybe new people are clicking on this video for some tips. So I'm gonna try to give you a couple things you can take with you. Oh yeah, guys, before we start, look at this livery. It's, it says it's free. I went into body kits and it says it's free. Is it free for everyone? Or did I buy a pack that it like comes with it? I don't know. I'll put up a screenshot right now. It says it's free, so I don't know. Let's get into drifting. Let's start off with the steering wheel. Okay, we'll get into throttle control a little bit later, but let's start off with the steering wheel. When you're starting off to drift, um, oftentimes from the people that I've tried teaching, they do this a lot. Oftentimes the car breaks loose and they don't know what to do. They're in a panic, they hold it straight. They're like, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? So when your car breaks loose, don't hold it straight. Don't hold the wheel straight. That's just gonna keep spinning you out and your car is just, it's just gonna try to point straight. So what you are going to want to do in this scenario, right? The car breaks loose as soon, I'm telling you, as soon as those wheels break loose, as soon as those wheels break loose, let the wheel glide through your hands, okay? Let it slide. Cause what the wheel is gonna do is it's gonna find the straight point. That's what the cars do, you know? Uh, your car breaks loose and those front wheels, they find the straight point in real life too. So with that being said, as soon as those tires break loose, you let that wheel slide, but it's not that easy. It's not like you let the wheel slide, boom, professional drifter. Let me huck a 360. Look at this, I was born to drift. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. With that being said, you get, you get more comfortable. You get more comfortable with letting the wheel slide. Yay. You can kind of control it, which is good. That's great. As soon as you let that wheel, the wheel slides, you have to learn when to grab it because you can't just let that thing go or else it's just, you know, let's just let it, let's just let it try. Damn, it's drifting by itself, but you see. I found that straight point and it straightened out. Now, if we're trying to link corners and it just straightens out, that's not good. And oftentimes it's not gonna do that all the time. It will spin out. Let's, let's do a harsh one. Boom. See, it, it spins out. So what you need to do is you need to learn, just go in a circle donuts are really, really good. Keep doing donuts and try to hold it and just kind of figure out when you need to let go of the steering wheel and turn it back. See how I'm losing angle right now? Turn it back a little bit. Turn it back a little bit, right? That's what you wanna do. You wanna get more angle. And of course, sometimes you'll spin out. I spin out all the time. You guys see it all the time in my videos. I still spin out a bunch. Drifting is just a timely process, okay? It's a very timely process. Some of you are gonna be more gifted than others, just naturally insane and drifting. Um, and some are unfortunately not. <laughs> so it's all about time. It's all about time and patience. When you go into this, don't expect to be freaking linking every corner, doing wall taps on your first day. And if you do, good job. That's insane. <laughs> it's all a matter of time. Get on the game as often as you can. And it's just practice, 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 practice. You're gonna learn, you're gonna learn a lot more things. And then especially watching YouTubers, definitely watch YouTubers, watch Goosey It's, he has a freaking wheel cam. Watch What's Up. Um, watch Slap Train. Watch all those guys. Okay, they got wheel cams. So you'll pick up little things. I mean, you can watch me do. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 700. Anyways, with that being said, just it's all about the practice game. I'm trying to sum it up as much as I can, uh, but it's a, definitely a little difficult because there's so much so much I could say, but I don't want to like overload this video and get you guys bored. So I'm going to say one more thing too with the wheel. One more thing too um, is you're not like all the time. You know how I say let go of the wheel, right? Which is great. When you're doing donuts, do that. Let go of the wheel and let that. But sometimes you do have to huck it. Like sometimes, see how when I, when I fly into this corner, I need to spin the wheel quicker to catch the car. Because sometimes if you don't, it'll spin. It's like I said, guys, it's literally, it is a manner of time uh, and just getting on that wheel and practicing. And you will learn, you will literally learn how the wheel goes. You'll learn when you need to let go of it, when you need to catch it. But what I wanted to try to teach you guys is to learn how to let the wheel do its thing, you know? Um, Cause when I teach, I've tried to teach like three or four people now. And when they try to drift, they hold that wheel still. They hold it still. That's not what you want to do. Um, 
you want to let that thing slide kind of and just learn to grab it learn to give it more angle and all that stuff and like i said huge thing watch those big youtubers and you learn i'll put links to their channels all down in the description below and like i said you could also watch me and another super helpful thing is this community is great and they will most likely put a bunch of stuff in the comments down below helping me explain this because <laughs> sometimes i uh, sometimes i don't put it into words the best so a lot of the time you guys help me a lot and put tips down in the comments below so if you are new go ahead and go down in the comments below and hopefully there'll be some tips down there okay that's kind of steering we've kind of covered steering right another <laughs> huge 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 part is throttle okay i wish it was as easy as just you just need to get down the steering but no you need throttle control as well if you just floor it you're gonna spin if you just floor it you're gonna spin out i mean sometimes you can floor it and can correct right but oftentimes you're giving it too much gas and it'll spin what you need to learn how to do is you need to learn to give it gas when it needs the gas luckily there's a diagram right down here you guys can see this is my throttle you guys can see how much throttle and how much clutch I'm applying and how much brake, which is perfect. It's so helpful for this video. <laughs> Anyways, kind of look, I'm giving it a lot of throttle, but also like I'm giving it throttle when it needs it. So let's say right now, oh, I'm losing, I'm losing. I need more throttle. I'm losing the angle in more throttle. Oh no, I need less throttle because there's a lot. You know what I'm saying? You kind of get what I'm saying. You need to learn throttle control. And that will make learning the whole thing so much easier. It's so huge. Um, clutch kicks too. Please learn clutch kicks. If you don't know what that is, it is when you, okay. So let's say second gear. Say you're in a lower gear and you already have a higher RPMs, so you don't really need to because it'll catch really easily, which is great. But let's say you're in third, fourth. Let's do fourth for a good example, because it will. Let's say, oh, I'm going here. I want to, I slam the throttle, nothing, right? nothing no no juice or anything but what you can do with a clutch kick is have the clutch in floor it and drop that clutch just dump that thing dump the clutch and that is what is called a clutch kick and you can use that a bunch of times i use it all the time i'm sure you guys see it uh in my videos i use it a lot especially in corners when i don't have enough juice i will use it a bunch just to give it that extra that extra mile you know what I'm saying damn that was a little bit clean anyways I'm gonna do a little lap of this so you guys can see I kind of know what I'm talking about and I'm not just rambling on about nothing okay okay as you can see I kind of know what I'm talking about not totally but kind of I can kind of link corners and stuff can we get a little wall tap in no just hardly anyways guys i know that was really brutal it was kind of rough uh my explanations were not the best but i really hope you guys did get something from this uh and hopefully i helped you out a little bit uh like i said in the end the biggest thing you can do is practice but i hope those tips will get you to having fun in the game a little quicker so like i say get into a map of some sort and definitely don't do like a super complicated one because you'll just get a little bit frustrated. But practice donuts. Do donuts, they're super helpful. And once when you conquer donuts, you can start doing figure eights. Figure eights will teach you how to toss it back and forth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, hold on. But figure eights will teach you how to shift the car, transfer it to the other way, which is great. And then you can start transferring corners and then you'll notice you're getting a lot better, which is awesome. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Today's video was definitely a little bit different. It's gonna be normal, next video. I, I just wanted to get this out there. I wanted to give my little bit of tips. And like I said, go down in the comments below. I'm really hoping you guys will help. The experienced ones will help me and maybe fix some of the things I said. So go down in the comments below. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're trying to hit 700 subscribers here. We are at 650 currently, which is amazing. You guys got there so quickly. It's ridiculous. 
So if you did enjoy or found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate us. That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists.